Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenez the Human, and welcome to this, the grand finale of our Camar Union campaign. You join me outside Riga as we look to finish off the Teutonic Order. Of course, they still have these two last cities remaining. This one, well, this is actually set it out over here. Dunberg is under siege, and Riga, well, likewise, but we have sent the Horby brothers. Oh, they've just come of age. They're actually, they're not all that good after... Oh, after all, after all the build up to them, but yeah, but we thought it would be uh, fitting for them to come along and take the final city. But there is a there is a big army coming. Well, I say big army, sizable force coming on to attack us. Who, uh, yeah, could cause some problems yet. So we'll see how that goes. Elsewhere, elsewhere we have the Lithuanians. Well, they're under siege, as you can probably see. Uh, we've been quite busy in between this episode and last. I don't know how many turns have gone past, but it's a fair chunk. Good 10 or so. Velika Luki fell without too many problems. And yes, we have about five, is that five, six different Lithuanian cities and settlements under siege. So they're all looking uh, pretty near defeat at this point, aren't they? What we elsewhere, what we're doing is we're getting all of the cannons and trebuchets, and we do have some grand cannon over here to go and bomb the living hell out of the bowls because to be honest that is probably the best way to finish them off i wouldn't mind assassinating a few people actually so ooh, a lovely lovely priest assassination very rare i ever see these let's have a good watch of this we, we've been skipping the assassin vi vi videos for far too long there he is <laughs> that was so unsubtle uh amazing well wow, that that was easy wasn't it priest down um uh, yes you might have noticed I've, I've hired myself an army of assassins who are just ready to take out whoever and anyone merchants no different apparently i have killed a polish princess at some point um which is a shame for her but alas um no 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 crying over her Ooh, faction air that will be fun. Oh, I love the street one. The street ones are always particularly fun. Yes, today we're going to go for particularly aggressive diplomacy. Oh, oh yes, it worked. I do love it. I do love it. That is the uh, the factionaire of the Mongols taken out. Marvelous. Oh, he's got up to Carl the Killer. Oh wow, he is a top top chap at this point, Carl the Killer. Yeah, I've just been pumping them out of my. Uh, my assassins guilds at this point which is great news oh yes on the note of like, aggressive diplomacy yes, novgorod we're going to give you one final offer of ceasefire no no they they won't have it so you can probably guess what happened to this chap something along these lines death death will come from sigurd the killer right let's send in the next chap faction leader we'll have a look if we can kill the khan this is actually nothing to do with novgorod is it we missed only five percent Sad. I might have actually been their whole faction destroyed. I don't know if they've got many leaders around. Um, doesn't well, they don't have a lot of cities, so it's unlikely they have too many. Actually, we'll have to see about that. So yes, we are looking to um, use our assassins as well to take our faction too, because I don't think we're going to take all these cities here today. We certainly can try and kill a few of these chaps. Thirty-five percent. Fancier chances there. Is this the stone on the bridge? Yes. One of my favourite ones, this. Don't you dare start calling me out. <gasps> You've done it. <laughs> the prince has been squished. And it is lasagna for dinner tonight, lads. It is lasagna indeed. Okay, well, this is good. The, the, the Novgorods have lost their faction. Let's kill another faction in the same turn. <sighs> oh, it is fun when you start pumping out the... Uh, the different agents. This one is the one that is the least likely to ever succeed. Ah, oh, she killed us out. Damn Karen. Oh well, shame. Uh, the other thing we've got is a huge amount of priests because I've started having problems with uh, religion at this stage. I think this army <laughs> it's an army of priests. Um, Marvellous. Yeah, is it, I've been having a problem with public order in these settlements, so at this point I think they've settled down at last. But yeah, I have had to pump thousands of priests into the world so what are we at now 75 percent. so we'll probably start sending these guys over the border marvelous you can do the same and all those priests will activate over here now I'll probably send one of them back just to keep this place going and there's actually another one here marvelous stuff <laughs> uh so by and large by and large we are in a pretty good place of course we are looking to just smash as many of these cities as possible so i guess you might as well get on with one or two of them uh, Doshiski. We'll sack it, of course. 
How are we looking here? 93% Catholic. That's good to see. Let's try and burn the witch. Oh, no! She killed him. Oh. I forgot they don't uh, convert, do they? They just uh, they just kill you. Oh, well, she had a few extra eyeballs in her uh, little pots for a day or two, but that's no more. Vilnius is going to be a bit of a bigger one. These are all not the simplest ones to just go and walk into. I can probably go and win this one, though. So we'll go have a little look-see over here with my geese of the honest. Oh, well, he looks like a fairly decent chap. Once upon a time, so he might have been friends, but not anymore. Alas, no more. Another crushing victory over the Lithuanians, who really I have nothing against, but did break our alliance, which is very rude of them. Very rude indeed. Right. Our two armies here are getting ready to deal with the Poles. Looks like I've already been busy over here. Don't need to worry with that. We'll keep them busy by taking on diplomats. Of course, got to keep my men up to uh, up to scratch. Lovely stuff. Well, okay. With all of that sorted out, um, we're pretty... Ah. Well, it looks like we've got a new job for our chaps, doesn't it? They're going to come over this way for the time being. And I think this guy can move over to the last Polish city. Ah, Kiev. There's a few units there, but nothing too much, so we don't need to worry about them a great deal. What we'll do is we'll send our aggressive diplomacy off to the next town and see if there's anyone who wants to have fun there. Elsewhere, though, um, we're probably just going to be ending our turn and seeing what comes up, because essentially we are just uh, waiting out on some of these sieges at this stage, see if they want to poke the bear. I suspect... That's what we're going to see over here. So if they do, we're going to get ourselves in a big battle with the Teutonic Order. Sadly, they didn't bite at the end turn, but it does give me a chance to let the uh, yeah, the Horby boys take control of that army. We'll smash into this little city here, Kanaus, which we spent ages fighting over the bridge on, didn't we? Sack the settlement, and with that, we have victory. We'll build ourselves an abbey, and with that, we will happily sit and squat in the city here. Marvellous stuff. Let's get a load of agents out, which is great news. A load of merchants to go and eat up, my Ready good sir. Start with this one here. Lovely stuff. Good, good work. Now, yes, aggressive diplomacy. We had more to chat to, didn't we? So, Mongols, would you like surrender? No. I think we know where this goes then, sir, don't we? I think we know where this goes. Only 19% though, so we're probably not going to be able to succeed here, but... You can always try. Oh god, the, the bed of nails outside his window. Yeah, never likely to work, was it? Never likely to work. Let's try this guy. Is he going to be any better at the old assassination game? He's trying a very similar tactic here. <laughs> Didn't work before. I don't know why it's going to work this time. They very much are wise to us at this stage, I think. We, we're going to need uh, more clever assassins, I think. Right, well, on the note of, of our assassins, actually, we've got a bit of work to do over here. Oh, that's not our guy. Oh, well, no. Where's our guy? There's one over here. What do we have? 24% of the faction here. 53. Yeah, 53. Go and kill this guy. He's just plodding down the street. Gobo of Vashorovo. It will go down. Yep, yeah, pretty sure that knife's going to get him right in the back of the neck. Good work. That's one more down. I don't think they've got many left, actually. They probably only have this... Faction leader and faction air over here in Smolensk. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Aggressive diplomacy can continue then, faction leader. Feet sticking out of the bed. Are you mad, my good sir? You need the fire on and you need your feet sticking out. You've got your wires crossed. Right, Grand... No! Damn it. That was going so well. Could have just stabbed him though, sir. That would have been much easier. Oh, well, yes. we'll have to see if we've got any other assassins around to finish them off. I think, though, we were getting some more, were we? No. Well, I'll have a little look around, see if we can find more. But we'll try, we might just try and assassinate the uh, the uh, Novgorodis to death. Oh, yeah, I've got this guy down here. He might still be able to plod up here and try something. 27 or 35. 35 is a good amount. Let's, let's give that a good go. Prince Nikita over here. Got the classic uh, sneak up slowly tactic. Is Karen going to see us? No! Lovely work. There goes the, uh, the faction air. Just leaving this bloke here, the Grand Duke 46. Pretty authority. He's pretty good, actually. But uh, we'll, we'll get all our assassins over in that direction. 
finish him off next time. Oh, yes, I do love that. That is good, good work indeed. Right. So, um, I think we'll end our turn. Let's see if these guys attack. I think it's quite likely. Ooh, no, we're going to get an attack over here. Did I not put this under siege? Apparently, I didn't put it under siege. Well, there we are. Um, Vladimir of Novgorod is a family member. Oh, they do have more. Probably just uh, pulled one out of their ass, but never know. Oh, they got a basilisk. That is very cool indeed. Well, uh, we'll have to go and deal with that. There won't be a lot of reinforcements. What's this army, most importantly? Lots of trips and drags, but... Yeah, we could have problems, because our army here is a bit uh, depleted. I didn't really realise we are uh, not besieging this. I think we're supposed to take this as we started the episode. Oh, well! We have more armies where they came from. Uh, let's, let's get moving. Let's try this on. Simple enough start for us here. We're just going to send our cavalry straight into them. Give them a good demolishing. And I don't think there'll be too many problems when it comes to this. Hit those guys. There we go. Surround their general. Missiles all just stop for now. We're absolutely fine. We'll clear them off. Hack him down. That's the start we're looking for. Some of the reinforcements just getting caught out down the hill here, but the main force is starting to arrive. So we uh, we just got a fairly standard formation here. Uh, we can probably start shooting with these guys at this point. That's for general straight away. Um, no problem with these guys. That will give our cav though a bit of an opportunity to hit them in the flanks, which works for me. Arc abusers over here, more archers, Cossack musketeers. Okay. We're just going to send our cavalry forward in that case. Get forward into them. Don't worry about the infantry. We'll just hold them in position while we shoot them down and hit them in the flank. Marvellous stuff. General, if you get around that position, that would be better. Because I'd like us to... Yeah, make sure we catch all of these guys. Perfect. You hit them. You hit them. And the main cav is going to hit in the front. Great news. Right, you please stop shooting. Missiles, stop shooting as well. And yeah, that is good. We can try and clear up as many of these as possible at the start because they put themselves way too far out of position. And yeah, that's a good start for us. They have plenty of forces, but we are just catching them out. They needed to have organised themselves. But as their cav comes in, probably time for us just to pull back, get all missiles on to shoot, and get these guys on to the shoot as well. Cannon, get going. Start gunning them down. Our cav is going out to the flank to make sure we take care of their artillery. These basilisks are uh, not particularly friendly to us. So we got those guys taken out with any luck. That is a good position to be in. Otherwise, to be honest, we might as well just start chasing, char charging in at these guys once again. Because they are, yeah, obsessed with using all of their musketeers and their archibruses. And they're not properly supporting them with proper infantry. Because... They are not good enough at this point in history to really dominate the battlefield. Uh, we can very much yeah, do more damage to them with our usual cavalry charge. Perfect stuff. Right. What have we got here? Buddy Shaxman. They're the guys who really should have been coming in to attack us. They were exactly the ones I was expecting. So, Cav, you're in the flank at this point. Go and get the cavalry militia. Woohoo! Big hit on those guys. We will lose that flank cavalry battle, but that isn't really something I'm too worried about, actually. We'll just try and get ourselves in position. General, move there. Have it to the general. You have a general fled because he's an utter gibbon, but that's fine. We should be able to charge in our infantry before too long here. Just buy that time, see if we can get a last shot or two through on their line as they arrive. Time to start charging in them. Infantry, get in there. Start hitting these guys with all your might. We'll be able to get the good flank in as well. Cavalry, are we going to hit their cav? And in general, we actually, I think we are going to be able to win this. They won their cavalry battle, so we've got to go and win another one. We're a bit injured. They've got a charge in, so good chance we definitely will lose the second part of that. But on the whole, very clean battle here, actually. It's worked out much more efficiently than a fort and with this there's one more of their leaders down this sneaky blighter over here was uh yeah getting some sneaky shots in ridiculous we're uh, we're gonna have to go and destroy these basilisks i knew there was a second unit somewhere 
but I hadn't realised that they were hiding in such a sneaky spot. There we go. That is the end of the battle. We'll hunt down those last chaps. Maybe, maybe, guys, we should steal these and uh, use them ourselves. Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. What is it with these with these chaps? They don't learn anything. Right. Let's exit this battle with that heroic victory for us. Lovely stuff. And with that, with that, we can get back to assassinating the rest of them. Marvellous stuff, Vladimir. No. No, 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 no. Bet betrothed to someone I don't know. You've got some things generally loyal. Uh, cool. Why not? Come join the party. Where are you? Actually, that was through an actual princess. How marvellous. Well, there we go. Probably a terrible... Yeah, wife is terrible because I hadn't even realised that we had a princess. They do tend to disappear later on in the games, don't they? And, yeah, much like the army of the Teutonic Order, where have they gone? To serve. I could take the city, but I kind of want to An have a proper battle serve. on the field with them. Where, where have they... Yes. What? I don't know what happened. Oh, well. I guess it's time for these guys to head in this time. Attempt a night attack. And this... <laughs> now they lose! Ah, uh, we have all the money in the world, but now we're going to decline. Um, why? Oh, whatever. It's fine, it's fine. That's what happens when you auto-resolve sometimes, isn't it? <sighs> right, get some new troops over there, because apparently we need them. And what we'll probably do is send more of our lovely chaps in this direction, because we could clearly do with some extra infantry. Go and join this force. What else have they got? Alright, a few men. Largely though, we just want to take him out with our assassins, don't we? So, we'll uh, have a quick go at that. Fail. Fail. Come on! Let's get rid of this chap. <laughs> Danny! And that's them gone! <laughs> that is the Novgorod, he's gone. That is magnificent. Um, yeah. They, they have, they've turned into rebels. And that is really how I want the whole world to go. Uh, let's let's see if we can do that with the Mongols as well. <laughs> Might be hard. I don't know how many members they've got, but this guy's certainly about to die. So uh, 90%. Good stuff. Who else is there? No one over here. Over here there is Factionaire. Okay, we can have a good poke at you. By poke I mean stab. Actually, 1% less chance, but we'll give it a go anyway. Failures. Failures, the lot of them. Right, there's just these two. This is magnificent news. Right, send him down. Send, send the army of assassins down, all the way down to the Mongol territories. We will have them... Um, we will, yeah, we'll have them all dead. Actually, there is one more here. I don't know if there's a general in there or not. We'll have to send... One of my many, many spies in that direction. Spy, you head over there. Assassin, you might as well do the same job. Lovely, lovely stuff. And yeah, we'll just continue to send more in this direction. Spy over there. Can't see anyone yet. Looks like they've only got a couple generals. It's good to know. So the Novgorods are down. Uh, not quite, the <laughs> not quite the way that we necessarily envisaged it, but they they have eventually gone down. We'll keep getting rid of these assassins because they litter the land has turned into our Eastern Empire campaign at this point, where we just have a mass assassin battle. I need to remember that when I get round to doing... Um, yeah, I need to get back to Barbarian Invasion, because I do notice when you play that, everyone goes assassin crazy on that particular game, so I'll bear that in mind. Right, we're almost there, we're almost there. We've got ourselves most of our cannons and bombards ready to get on to the uh, the old battlefield over there, which is grand. Lavov, can you get anything? No, just the boring kind. Oh well, that's fine. To be honest, we might as well get a few out of there. Get a couple more cannons. I, I just want whole armies of cannons, quite frankly. We will just pile them out, uh, pour them out of the town, and just... Yeah, we're just, we're just going to burn Poland to the ground. That'll be the end of this particular campaign, I think. So, we'll grab what we can, and uh, yeah, we'll probably head back into uh, the north here. Now, Riga, Riga, Riga. We were supposed to uh, be taking this on... In a good, proper, proper old-fashioned way. You know, out in the field. Where have they gone? They're not in these forests. I really don't know what happened to them. Well, I don't know. I went a little plod round. 
See if we can find the Teutonic Order and where they're hiding their armies. We found old Rummy. That's another one of the Mongolian leaders' town. No one in Muglin over there, or how you're supposed to pronounce that town. And it does look like they are running out pretty swiftly, but 5% seems awfully unlikely, sadly. So we'll keep giving them a poke, but uh, yeah, we might have trouble taking out the last of these. What have we got over there? But we do have one more to come and take out these chaps. So we'll give it another go. Sadly, sadly not. There's, a, there's only so many people we can kill, unfortunately. But we will, we'll just keep on pumping people in that direction. See if they can take them out. On to next turn there. Ah, oh, and the United Teutonic Order, though, we have gone and found them. Uh, they they <laughs> had some reinforcements. They wanted out and killed them, which is quite irritating. Um, so we're going to head into them with this army here. Just a little bit of reinforcements. So we will take them on. A few bits of cannon, but in general, we should be absolutely fine to take them out. Let's head in, and this will be our last battle on the field with the Teutonic Order. Most of the battle seems to be up on this hill here. We're just getting our cavalry to swarm into their general. That should be him gone before he even knows what happened to him. Elsewhere, 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 we have ourselves our front line. Here we're just going to start running in. We'll get our axemen to start chopping at them. And to be honest with you, um, we have all of our cav at the flank, so they're just going to sweep in, I guess. Might as well. The general's already been crushed by the rest of them, so down he'll go with any luck pretty quickly. The Svenna are in here, so he shouldn't really be escaping any time soon. Choppy choppy, and how is he doing down to 15? Yeah, he's going pretty quickly at this stage. Pretty darn quickly. You go over the Livonians. Good. That is one more gone. Uh, the god has been sent to hell. Yes, yeah, so we'll get our Svenna after them. That will be grand. We'll get you guys after the Knacken. And the infantry can probably just start running in at this point. Good, good work. Guys, it doesn't look like they're even going to put up a fight here. We're just absolutely obliterating them here in the beautiful... I don't know, is this sunrise? It looks more sunrisey than sunset to me. So, let's... Uh, yeah, this is just a huge pile of spikes. Can't really work out exactly what's happening, but it looks like victory to me. Uh... So many cav, so many cav. I do love a cavalry only army. I don't think I've actually done that in this particular campaign. But um, we will very shortly have ourselves like full set of uh, siege equipment. So uh, we'll take out the poles like that. This will uh, this will be a little bit of a warm up in terms of just the cavalry swarm. That was a bit easy. See you back on the campaign map. We have that little force taken care of. It's back to trying to kill these two Mongolian chaps. But yeah, we just keep on losing all of our assassins right now. It's not going well for us. Endless assassins ending up dead at the doorstep of these towns. I'm going to try and get a uh, spy in, but he's also failed. Maybe we better luck leaving them alone. Maybe go and try and kill this guy instead. Nope. Still failing. Yes, we've sent some of our other crack assassins from uh, down the south to try it out as well. But again, every one of them seems to be failing right now. Let's go and take out the heretic. Standard little picture for him, sadly. Nothing good there. What if there's a witch? I don't think the witches have a separate clip or not. I have to try that one out. Yes, just in case. Oh, we sent the whole army. Yes, just in case. Uh, just in case we want to snipe them out. I have sent oh, this little force here because there is not. There's not a loss down here. We might have to go and uh, pounce on Chernobyl. Might be able to grab some mercenaries on the way or reinforce from down here. So we'll go and do that. Ah, no, 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 this army. Down here. Down here, down here, down here. We have what we want at this point. <laughs> ah, the gate's open. Of course it is. It might as well be open. So we're going to get our reinforcements in over here. And over here. That will be lovely. We have yet more of the siege equipment. So you have some spots. You go and take those. You grab the spare spearmen. Oh, Poland. <laughs> It's not going to end well for you, is it? No, no, no. There's even more cannons coming. Don't worry. we got plenty more equipment where that came from. Yeah, you can see all of the misses and dies in action messages there. It's very sad indeed. Right, let's just go and crack down Vilnius because that looks pretty empty at this point. Death comes to those lads. Marvellous stuff. Is that... Uh, there was a couple of leaders in there. They might have a chance of being killed off as well, actually. I don't really know where their generals are. There's another one here. We'll see what happens here. Are you? You're just a family member. Well, you're going to go down as well. 
Hana Ves Vis Vis I do apologise, I have no idea how to pronounce that down. Never heard of it in my life, but there we go. Uh, that was another one down. What about Pinsk? That's the faction air inside there. And then we have Kremlin Minsk. I can't see anyone in Minsk. Are these guys out on the field? Ukrainian army. Um, just in Hommel then. It's just these two guys over here. We can, we can assassinate that guy. Let's go and try him because uh, we're not doing very well with the Mongols right now. So uh, we'll have to maybe change around our tactics. Okay. Okay, okay. Time to head in here. The gates are apparently open for us anyway. We are going to destroy this place. Absolutely bombard it to, to hell's earth. I don't know, actually. Is it the last Polish leader? This might well be, actually. We wouldn't even need to come over here. Um, we haven't got movement points. Don't know if there's a leader in there or not. Hard to tell. Ah, you can chat. Yes, the prince is here. The prince is here. Okay, fine. This won't be the end of them, but this is uh, going to be, in my mental state anyway, the end of the polls. Right. We're burning our kings. We're burning our men. We're continuing to burn yours. Trebuchets and cannons. Let's get going. I love it. I just had the, uh, I just had the warning message from the advisor there saying... The goal of the battle is not to destroy this city, but to take it. No, they <laughs> say so you've clearly missed the memo here. The goal is very much, very much to completely obliterate it in every way, shape and form. So smash down that wall, please, sir. You get on with it too. we just got various men around. Actually, because the gates are open, our allies can just waltz on in anyway. So we'll leave them to go get on with that particular plan. But I will uh, obviously shoot things down as I go. So, yeah, we'll go and grab that. So, get everyone onto high speed. The game's probably going to completely crash at this point because it isn't going to like this many, this many bits of siege work going on. It doesn't really like lots of siege equipment. There goes the first bit of wool. Our allies seem to be pouring into the city whilst I just uh, go around breaking as much of it as possible. Um, we'll just let them take the casualties. We're probably going to take way, way too many casualties at this point. Is that the rotting cow carcass? Looks like it is. Looks like it is indeed. There we go. There's the cow. Here it is. Rotting cow carcass. Oh, it is lovely. It looks like a duck, but there we go. Love it just... My cow are just standing around here <laughs> as, the, as the Mr. Jusko just gets pummeled by various rocks coming out of nowhere. Magnificent stuff. Well, our allies are going to have largely done this battle for us and uh, clear out the poles here but uh, I guess my general might as well come in and join them but I think at this point it's very much a case of uh, can we just can we just smash up a few more things whilst we're here oh <laughs> brutal spike through him oh marvellous marvellous stuff these guys are flashing yep they're broken our general's kind of poking through them as he goes along those hellbreds are actually bracing I might actually kill our jet <laughs> Uh, okay, well, our general's finally getting into into the into the job now. A flaming cow uh, is just smashing to the side of this. It's quite diseased at this point. Does this mean we're about to have plagued our own city? Probably. Probably does. It's fine. Uh, we're here. We're here. We've killed the Polish. Was it the prince the king? I don't remember. That was the king. And now we'll end the battle there. Okay. Uh, they actually didn't kill that many. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't lose very many at all. I thought uh, I thought my allies would be completely useless there, but I suppose the gates were open. I blew several holes in the wall. Made it nice and simple. So that is one more gone. Sacked the settlement. I completely demolished a few of these buildings. I need the tavern. We broke the tavern and the walls. Brilliant. You know, we'll just pay for that now. We'll just get that repaired. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, on to the poles. The poles don't get an assassin's death, to be honest with you. I don't think they actually do deserve that. We are going to see what we can do. Um, to be honest, uh, you can just leave this equipment. We'll take it from here. We'll take it from here. Right, on with the poles. Um, we'll finish those off at another point. It's, we were getting close, actually, to dealing with these guys as well. How is this looking? Um, that is actually the faction marshal. Clear defeat. Kingy, kingy, kingy. You're not very competent at this, are you? Well, we'll send the next guy along to go and finish that job. Riga is, is, of course, what I feel like is the kind of natural end to this. But we'll see if we have any anyone else left to defeat at that point. 
My sneaky force has crept up on their faction leader here and we might not be able to assassinate you. We can certainly execute you, sir. And down he goes. That just leaves the one lad left to kill. This time our assassins will hopefully get the job done. So that's one down. I think there's just the faction there over here. Who we should have a decent chance of getting with our assassins. 46 and another one here, 31. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Magnificent work. Now we've got uh, Chemingov under siege. So we'll have a little go at cracking that down next turn. And hopefully then we'll be able to knock out the Mongolians. We'll leave some rebels left lying around the map. Which is basically what we want in the world, isn't it? So um, back up to the north here. You lost a battle at some point, didn't you? Uh, don't know where you've got to go. Go down to Pins. Just go and help us out, sir. I think it's time to head into Riga. Honestly, we've been putting this off for long enough. Let's head into this. It's just scraps. Plenty of random, um, random, well, siege equipment, basically. Although I haven't just seen that. That's the captain. The guy's obviously just died. So, yeah, this is, is that all that's left? I don't know. Oh, well, let's head into Riga. Let's finish them off. This will be time for the Horby Brothers to show what they're made of. I've just realised how few troops actually have God in this particular area. There's eight here, eight here, eleven here. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to go in and smash them. Over here, we've got our men on the wall. They're ready to go and claim it as our own. Uh, same over here. So we might as well, as much as possible, get ourselves moving down and taking these guys on because they're going to start, um, you know, yeah, they're going to start getting in. My well, I'm going to get start shot by these towers pretty soon. The Perfect, so that's a gate like down this, then, and we're now yeah, going to be starting to enter from two different sides. The walls are crumbling over here. Well, I say crumbling, they're not crumbling at all. They're uh, they're being claimed by us. Might as well get down off the walls and start smashing their necking over there. Those guys have been defeated almost instantaneously. Livonians over there trying to reinforce, but they will fail to do so. Yeah, all their units are just like five or six men, so whilst the tail will do a bit of damage, will be absolutely fine. Over this side, oh, one of my towers has been destroyed. I think that might be the trebuchets, actually. And if it was, I'm angry because that would not work when I tried to tell my units to do it. But oh well, trebuchets seem to have failed brutally to actually do any damage to these towers. But at this point, we should probably we just stop. Shoot at what you like, lads. That'll be fine. We'll, uh, we'll just go and grab the walls because they seem to be running away pretty much uh, at the front well from the start here. So... We, uh, yeah, we, we've got them on the run. This should be fairly simple. Storming the gate now, and that means these catapults are being caught out. Sammy Axman, not what you want to be taking on with your pathetic little sword there, mate. No, 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 no. Not even call it a sword. That's just a knife. Not even a good one. Right, the, uh, the bomb bars are equally getting completely, uh, well, routed. No other word for it, to be honest. And, yeah, this is pretty much going to collapse. Nice little cathedral, though, from the Teutonic Order over here. Rather pretty, isn't it? That's, uh, yeah, nicer than some of the other ones I've seen. Although you don't often see it get to that particular level. Right, um, cavalry, you were smashing your way through this particular side, weren't you? Perfect. Cavalry, get yourself to the plaza. Doesn't know that there's really anything to stand in our way. So let's just go and smash the Halbruder over on the plaza here. We'll actually get this whole entire section to charge in on these guys. Won't take too long until we've managed to capture the city, albeit looks like we need to get you over here and you over here just to make sure what we do with these guys. Don't think there's anyone coming up to take on your flank, so I'm going to make sure we mop them up. But yeah, on the whole, on the whole, we've pretty much already won this. It hasn't taken very much at all, has it? No. That bombard is now shooting its own market to make sure we go and have it. Um, please stop, guys. I would like to have something left of Riga. I heard it's a very beautiful place to go and visit. The enemy are um, indeed, They're actually, uh, from the one of my good friends, uh, travels on the cruise ships, and he does say that uh, particularly the, the Baltic region, Tallinn, St. Petersburg, some of his favourite places, always the nicest places to go and visit. So uh, I'm sure Riga's equally up there, albeit I don't think it's actually on the general cruise scene for... Uh, I don't know how far in land it is. But there we go. We have captured Riga. Lovely place. There's one unit somewhere. Uh, where are you? Ah, one, one more trebuchet. Go and grab them, please, before they burn down our city. Although we will have a go at shooting them. Actually, no, we've, we've already ran away, haven't we? 
too bad then we'll just have to chop them down they will survive theoretically but they won't because uh yeah we're just gonna make sure there's nothing left of these chaps bye steve bye bye the victory for us then captain jan has fallen riga in the end um well we fell with a whimper to be honest not an awful lot to be had in that particular bout but with that we finally finally complete our black sea domination which is all what we ever really wanted lovely stuff so we are triumphant calm down calm down mate and with that we'll get a bit of retrain on these guys and the king himself has come back to dunnenberg over here for one last assault on the teutonic order yes that's what he's here for now 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 before we do this sir before we do this what equipment do we actually have because you have none i notice grab yourself some ladders because we're gonna want some ladders and some rams for this because it is a citadel you've already got some oh no we're fine we're fine we're fine we're fine that's that's grand we'll just we'll just march in then right time to head into here finish off the teutonic order then we can finish off the episode indeed the series by assassinating the mongols and by uh, demolishing the poles there we go let's go my allies seem to be losing on the walls over here uh the music is very dramatic by the way um yeah they're just it's just going a little bit mental right uh oh oh oh, oh, oh no are you gonna get yourselves caught and open up the gates for us I think you might mightn't you yes the gates have been opened by the foolish peasants and this teutonic order is why you lose you allow peasants among your ranks. No, that was never the way you should have done it. And with that, the king himself has entered the uh, the second stage of their little citadel over here. Oh, they're, they're all bizarre little citadels. They remind me of um, remind me of sort of old Victorian prison. I say that as if um, I've been to old Victorian prisons. I haven't. In the town I grew up in, there was an old Victorian prison that had this very much this kind of red brick style. Looks uh, very similar to this. Noble death! Our Sigurd of Quanak has died a hero's death here. It's very sad for him. Infantry, you can start piling as well. Get the cannon forward. They might as well start doing their job. They need to get up here for the final, final push. Um, we have some scouts and some field knights somewhere. They might as well start piling as well. Is the king going to make it here? Or are we going to have a new king to finish off the last episode with? Who knows? There are actually some more reinforcements. Ah! The king is dead once more. Ah, uh, alas, uh, the second coming. There may not be a third. There may not be a third for him. Where are my infantry, by the way? They're supposed to be here. Get back inside the gates. That's my reinforcement army. Right, they're piling on in. Actually, I think they've caught some Halbruder, which is unfortunate. If we can get the cannon forward, that would be lovely. They've still got how many in their general's bodyguard? 17. This is, of course, their last general. The last Teutonic Order, be it. But with their family, I don't know. I'm pretty certain that is not how the uh, Teutonic Order worked. I've, they elected for life, I think that's how it worked. I really need to do some more research on Teutonic Order. They are a bizarre and intriguing part of, uh, of Christian history. Right. These chaps have been fighting on. Oh, no, no, they haven't. They've given up instantly as soon as I say that. But it's fine, the infantry is still piling in, we should be absolutely fine to go and get ourselves set up in front of the gate over here. Finish these lads off, if indeed that uh, is an opportunity that is gifted to us, because at the moment I'm a little bit worried that my reinforcements aren't showing up. They probably are, they've probably done all the work. Yeah, you see, the general's hanging back over there, leaving it for us to get ourselves killed. That's fine by me, that's fine by me. I think I think the king had to try and uh, show some... Uh, Show some kind of face. It must be said that um, we've achieved a lot during the lifetime of this king. Pretty much wiped out every other faction. And yet, and yet, uh, oh, they're all the way out of here. Maybe we should send those guys in. I think we will. Uh, yeah, and yet, they are completely useless. This particular, well, this king's particularly useless. So. Oh, well, they're sending everyone at this point. The cannons got themselves drawn in, which is very sad. I'm supposed to cannon out the next part, but oh well. That is him. That's him down. He has been sent to hell. I don't actually have anything to take uh, the last walls down at this point, by the way. Um, but my allies have ladders and things like that, so we can grab some of that. They've also got uh, rams. They've got uh, catapults. They've got everything we need. 
Come and finish up the job for us, please, sir. Uh, oh, apparently they're already in control of the castle. <laughs> Where did this happen? I never had any control of it at all. Oh, this is lovely right in here, right in the centre of the beautiful citadel. Victory is ours only by a sword's edge. No, I think we did perfectly fine here. Lost tons of men. We lost King Hack on the Hyrant. The, <laughs> the Tyrant. Ah, uh, dyslexia is my friend. Um, and with that, the end of the Teutonic Order and King Hack on the Tyrant, a terrible, useless king that he was, has passed away. With that, we completed the noble's mission. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, we've been given 2,500 florins, which, uh, yeah, highly noted. Noble death, though, for this man. He was less of a useless chappy. Right, the Teutonic Order, they are also gone. They are also defeated. And with that, new faction leader, King Harkund. Harkund, who is, wow, he's looking magnificent, despite being shameful. Um... Oh, no, that's fine. He's just a little bit... Uh, he, he just bats for the other team. That's fine. Uh, albeit, probably doesn't go too well, down too well in a highly Catholic medieval society. But that's not a problem on my front. No, he looks pretty good, all things considered, doesn't he? Okay, so that's him over here. And, uh, yeah, he's been, he has been looking like a pretty good leader for the last few years. So we'll get some of the troops trained up here in uh, Valaluki Luki. Or however you're supposed to pronounce that place. I just say a load of things and hope it sounds about right. Okay. So, we do have this under siege. We need to get ourselves some... Uh, well, probably just get ourselves some of these infantry men across there for next turn. I just need to get the public order under... Uh, yeah, get that sorted out. So, we'll get that sorted out. And we'll go and finish off the last Mongol leader to get those guys killed off as well. Probably well worth heading into Pinsk, actually, while we're here. So let's go and take those guys out. We'll release the seven of them that we captured. And sack that. Marvellous. Might as well smash those who are standing around like useless little chickens. Grab that. And to be honest, we'll probably be able to get away with just sending out the cavalry to deal with those. Perfect. Right. Uh, with that, we have one more city of Lithuania. To be honest, I think we might just kill off every faction here today. <laughs> it wasn't actually the plan, but um, between the assassinations we seem, and well, and just the general charge of everyone, we seem to be pretty close to it. Albeit, Lithuania, do you look a little bit stronger? But I'm not sure how much they have in terms of leaders. It might just be these two. Oh, how can you hate these guys? They, we did get married to them long back ago in the day, I think, didn't we? So, uh, plus eight brutally scarred. Magnificent. <laughs> He's up to seven experience, this guy. I have loved Burislav. He's been one of my favourite generals in this kind of high pace later part of the game. Where you kind of lose a bit more of the personality of your, your leaders sometimes as you just have so many and you're ploughing on through the game. But, um, no, Burislav, I, I have been loving that chap. He is magnificent. In case you're wondering, King Harkonnen is actually the son of Hakon the Tyrant. Actually, the nephew, more importantly, of King Christopher the Honest, who's one of our beloved, beloved kings. So let's remember him that way. The nephew of King Christopher. He's got himself a young daughter, Thorberg, over here, who I believe is actually the interest... Yeah, happy little dog. Yeah, the love interest of one of our generals of Thorgir. They, are, they seem to be made for each other, don't they, with those two names? Uh, that is not the right man that we're looking for, and we seem to have lost him. Too bad, Thorgir, you don't seem to be uh, managing to grab her. No, actually, that's you over there. You know. will shall be oh, he's a mean, mean man, apparently. Sober, well-spoken, too comfortable and harsh ruler. Um, could be doing better, but you know what? Why not? Young love is a marvellous thing. Where is she? She's over here. Ah, he's in the next town along. So, the princess... Do you want to go get yourself married to that general? Why not? Let's have ourselves a lovely, lovely wedding and a successful mission. Oh, three units of crossbowmen. That is going to turn the tide at the end of this campaign, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and here's the young Horby, Jesper Hornley. Horby, who is a little bit unmanly. We'll just ignore just ignore the family tree at this point. It's kind of, kind of gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? Um, I feel like I took a lot of care with it, and, yeah, it's been a bit hit and miss on this side. This is kind of the side that I always paid a little bit less attention to which is probably stupid because obviously this side with uh ingrid and all the daughters generally speaking i had a lot more care and attention paved onto it and actually these generals have largely speaking been fairly decent with gunver over here whose whose son is actually the uh, the prince now all right long last we could actually get this side of the family tree 
Gunver. Gunver's son could actually be our new king, Prince Ince. Inge or whatever he is, I don't care, he's very chivalric, which is what you'd expect of that side of the family. Apart from being aloof, poor with taxes, warts, oh no. Um, vile witch, that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I've been leaving the witches around, that's bad. Burris, what if your son's deserted and the other two have been assassinated and killed? Okay, maybe maybe you're not the right guy to be prince. Alright, you know what, just, let's just scrap our faction heirs in our tree at this point. We, um... We should give up on that and just start to uh, murder the Poles. That's really the way we've got to go. On which note, though, that is obviously what we need to do right now. Finish off the Poles, and with it, that should just about be it for today. I think there is a little bit of Mongols to finish off. We will let we'll let our lovely friends the Lithuanians live, I think. But we need to finish the Poles the proper way with cannon. Let's go. I'll be honest, this is not looking very good for them, is it? All cannons... Uh, all just get shooting on that gatehouse. You might as well shoot at the reinforced gate. As for you guys, shoot at the tower, smash that up for us. And if they want, if they're going to be foolish enough to try and actually stop us, then they'll have a few issues, I suspect, because we'll just absolutely obliterate them. They do largely seem to be sitting on the plaza, unfortunately, but there is some icon over here. So presumably there's someone hanging around. Oh, it's one trebuchet. Okay, do we think we can have a go at hitting them? We can possibly have a go. Let's have a go at these chaps. Ah, uh, the Poles, ever the lovers of fire, they are actually still trying to shoot down my king and coming quite close to it. Uh, yeah, if they still manage to do that at this point, I would uh, actually probably just have to applaud them. Right, let's grab all my cannons and they can start to shoot these towers, please. We'll just speed that up, get these all smashed in. Suffice to say, our promise to cause destruction is uh, clearly in evidence here. Uh, there's not much left of the walls. What is left seems to be remarkably good at blocking our shots. But there's an awful lot of cow carcass that seems to be blocking uh, blocking our way in at this stage. It's kind of kind of quite amusing. <laughs> the lack of damage we've caused to them is absolutely ridiculous. Our reinforcements have run all the way around to come and enter through this side, so. They'll uh, be a little bit confused as to why we haven't pressed forward, I imagine. But, you know what, all's good in, uh, in love and war, and frankly in this particular war it's all down to fire. We hit that one again. As the last few shots come in, we splatter our own with flaming bolts. We're not going to stop shooting, we're just going to carry on. Um, if this general wants to die to uh, our own shots, that's just the way things are going to have to go, I'm afraid. But, yeah, sadly the reinforcements have come in now. I guess, I suppose it's time to send in my own men. And if we shoot ourselves, then we shoot ourselves. Ah, uh, alas. Right, sirs, uh, you're out of ammo. That means that you are going to have to get yourselves into battle. Same with all of you, sirs. Get in there. Carry on the fight. I think we've killed more of our own with the cannons than we have anything else. But... Oh! Our general's dead. How has he managed that? Ridiculous chap. Well... There we go, he's managed to get himself killed, the Spear Militia, but um, some, somehow that was uh, kind of the way that it was always meant to go. There's actually quite a lot left here on the plaza. We, we definitely could have just splattered them on the plaza here, but I, I kind of like the way we've done it. So we'll get the trebuchets to do as much as they can, and all of our guys will just start piling in. Gradually our corpses are making their way to the plaza, and as they do... We see the end of the polls. Is there actually a faction leader here? We've still got to take out their leader, haven't we? That is slightly scary because there's 32 of them and I am entirely broken and completely destroyed. My reinforcements are fine, so uh, I think I think we're all right. Let's pile on their general then. Um, where are my reinforcements? Do, do we have enough? Hello? Okay, apparently we have dominant power on the plaza, but I'm not sure that really counts at this stage. Why didn't he use that to batter down the wall over there? Oh, they have. Why didn't they go in that? Oh, I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, we've got to chop down the last of the Polish king. Sadly, he's not going to go down by fire, which is kind of what I'm meant to do here. Why am I not doing that? Possibly too late for that at this point. Shootout stance, please. <laughs> he's been slain. Let's pretend it was by the knife of a trebuchet there. It wasn't, it was clearly one of these axemen. But that's not the point. Polish have been defeated and only civilised people are left to be awed the civilised people of uh, Lithuania and Denmark. 
Of course, the Mongols are about to be chopped down. Ah. But that was suitably stupid. And with that, the end of Poland. Marvellous stuff. Marvellous stuff indeed. How are we looking for this? It's strangely close. Uh, right, I, I, yes, of course, I was going to uh, just make sure I retrain some of these and send them into battle. Right, we'll get a few more men to come join it. We'll finish them off next turn. Sadly, sadly, no video for the assassination of the uh, of the witch there, which is a bit disappointing, but there we are. She is down, and before we get into this final battle, let's just pull back, lift the siege for a moment. Let's see if we can convince this guy to die at long, long last. Khan Kanube. Can you... Kubeke! That's the one. This is the least likely to succeed. He has absolutely failed that. Let's have one more go at him. And he's done it! He's done it! Yes! The Mongols are down as well. And that, ladies and gents, is what we wanted to see. Do we let, do we let Lithuania live? It seems kind of ridiculous to hold on to Lithuania at this point, doesn't it? But they do a few armies. Can I be bothered to go and kill them all? I don't know. I don't know. Can I? Ooh, I tell you what, I have just been given the mission to kill their prince. <laughs> I have been asked to go and kill their prince. Where was he? Um, over here. Oh, he's so easy to kill. I've got to kill him. Um, do we do we get rid of Lithuania? I could just go and attack Homil. Be easy enough. Oh, she's oh, he failed. Apparently, they are meant to live. They are meant to live, but um, no. I I've decided at this point we're we're going to finish this game properly, and by that I mean murder them all. So let's go and finish this off. You sir can go and move up north. Go and take them out, please. That'll be magnificent. And hopefully we'll uh, we'll finish those guys off and declare ourselves the true and complete victors. Right, I've had a little hunt around and I think there's three of them left to kill. One is indeed a mission, so we should probably go and take him out. But we'll we get rid of this guy first so he doesn't become the prince. Hopefully, we'll have success there. Lovely, lovely start for us. Faction air, 47% chance. We should have a good go at killing him. And let's see if the snake one will work. It very rarely seems to, in my experience. Um, come on, it's looking good. No, failed, but we can take him out in battle if we can manage to win one. Maybe that'll be a last battle or two. Actually, no, we've got the the faction leader over here, haven't we? Which, obviously, I've already got us squared up to. So I'll tell you what, two last battles to take out the Lithuanian faction's leaders. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, yeah, try Dennis the Harsh. He's got himself a little... I don't know why he's wandering around up here, but I sent out my calf to go and take him out. Let's go. Hit him in the front with the main general in the sight of these two guys and hopefully the Huskars will complete the trap. These six are just going to float around. That's a full experience at this point. Where have you gone? You're all the way over there, ridiculous chaps. Right, let's get them surrounded and hopefully chop him down. Get in there as well, Serge. You should be able to do this. Choppy choppy. I don't think he's going to last too long. He might have more men, but we do have silver experience on this guy. Come on, get rid of him. Where is he pushing to? I can't have him get away. Can't have him get away. Chase after him, all of you. Huskulls in particular, you get ahead of him. Yes, the Huskulls. The Huskulls are swift. Swift across the field and they've caught him right at the end. Continue. I think that one guy's going to get off, but that's fine. Oh, yes. A clear victory indeed. Yes, great virtue and valour. We're just killing off, committing great genocides here. Um, no, it's fine. We just we just feel the world would be more more peaceful if it was united, of course. So there we go. Brilliant work there, sir. And that leaves us with just this guy, who is now the Lithuanian leader. Here we go, right. They just took a bit of battering, actually. I just auto-resolved the battle with this guy in the last end turn. So we need to now head on. This chap here, Burris left the scud. It was always going to be Burris left the scud, wasn't it? Oh, I love this. This is just perfect. Right. Get our men. Most of the anywhere near full units just get in there. Um... Apparently they can't move. Why can't you move? Oh, you're stuck in the battle, aren't you? 
Fine, we'll just move we'll do it a bit more manually than normal. Fine, 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 fine. To be honest, we can probably disband a couple of those ones. It's a bit too delicious to get rid of those, but I have anyway. So we'll grab the rest of you. Leave you in with them, and yeah, now we have space to finish them off. Perfect, right. The last dance. The last dance here with Lithuania. They've got some Samogitian Axemen. We've never seen the most brutal of them, but the Grand Duke, the last of them, will fall here. And with that, it will just be us and Rebels. And after all, it's the way it's always meant to be here on Tenos the Human. Let's go. Lithuanians are all spread out in several different forces. We'll get the artillery to bombard these chaps. We are just going to charge our cavalry straight into their various different, uh, well, their different units of uh, crossbowmen and whatnot. There is that unit of, oh, there's a cannon back there actually, but there is actually some proper axemen back here as well, so we do need to be a little bit wary about those. Uh, they can cause some big problems. We're just going to hope that we get the break, and that will cause them all the problems. Yeah, they're uh, they're not too happy. They're standing by their church, but. Uh, no, not going to give them much morale bonus, I'm afraid. We'll get the artillery to stop for the time being, unless, of course, the general's coming in, which he might be. You can see the cavalry militia over there. They are coming in. Right, let's just get our infantry into this position now. Run forward. Get yourselves over here as well. Serpentine, whenever you can get the general, please do. Same with you two trebuchets. If you can hit this general, please do. What I need to do is make sure he cannot escape. So cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Let's make sure we get... Yeah, you two around the back like that. Thank you very much. Now you three, go and take on this general. Go and take him on. We need to get rid of him. All infantry head into him as well. We just need to squash him. I don't care if we lose this battle. That is not what's important. What's important is that we try and take care of all of these guys. Now, if we can get... Uh, yeah, yeah, lovely. Burislav the Scarred is hopefully going to be the one who wins this war for us. He wins the entire campaign. Uh, maybe Serpentine and things stop shooting them now, actually. Just just shoot the Grand Bombard, that'll be fine. Ah! <laughs> He's fleeing! The last Lithuanians, there he goes! There he goes. Oh no. Everyone after him. <laughs> I don't think you escape. I don't think you escape. We've got ourselves the Chivalric Knights who seem to have much more energy than him. He is there. And that is the end. That is the end of this Camayun Total War campaign. Oh, we've taken him out. And with that, that is pretty much everything over. We'll mop up what's left of this force. But that is, I believe, anyway, the end of Lithuania. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Burislav the Scarred. I always knew that you would be the true hero in this campaign. And from now on, only men named Burislav will be allowed to rule. We might let Christopher and Eric as well. Those two are all right. Um, but yes, what a magnificent campaign that comes to an end here with the end of Lithuania. Oh, they've been my, my least hated of our foes. I think that's fair to say. The least hated of all of my foes on this particular campaign. And with that, execution should end all that is remaining. There we go. Fashion destroyed Lithuania. The long legs of these people has come to an end. And with that, it is just me, Kalmar, and the rebels. You know what? We shall not relent, ever. We shall relent. We because they are our friends. We will, well, we will make peace, sir. We will go and make peace. Not possible. Merchant. Oh, you're not a diplomat. Well, that, that would make sense that you can't make peace. Let's go and send a diplomat. Apparently, he can't. He can't be. He can't make peace. It's fine. In in essence, they know. They know that, that we have let them live because they are superior to all of those previous factions. We have won! We've won a grand campaign as, Camo, as the Cowboy Union. I wasn't really planning on killing everyone here today, but um, it just kind of fell it just kind of fell that way in the end. I was getting assassinated by so many people uh, that I, I just had to pump out a load of assassins and train them up. Um, and in the end, those guys have been the ones who 
have uh, changed around uh, changed around the game a little bit. But it has been a magnificent little campaign. We we made, um, just to remind you, for at the start, obviously, we had a very strong Holy Roman Empire. We were just Kalmar and Gothenburg at the start. We wrapped up a few of these things nice and quickly. And, well, from there, we, we grabbed ourselves a little colony, didn't we? We got ourselves Danzig and Mersberg and Marienburg and moved on to Fawn. And really, it was, uh, it was a beautiful bit of diplomacy for a long time. The little diplomacy bug, bug fix that I spoke about got uh, got all sorted out and everyone was friendly with me until until the day I became just a little bit too powerful. Once I became like number two and number one on some of the uh, ratings, the game, uh, the game kicked in and it, it ended up making sure that everyone went to war with me, which I guess makes sense because I was such an existential threat by that point. But there we go. It's been it's been good fun. I've enjoyed playing as Denmark, um, or as the Kamar Union in this case. I'm not really used to using so many infantry units. I do normally like my Cav an awful lot. I miss our units, so it's been great fun to use a bit of infantry. As well as the siege equipment, I don't really use those all that often. In the end, it just became out of a uh, just just taking the mick out of Poland really because they'd been so rude to me. I thought I'd blow them up as well. Looks like we probably did some colossal damage to. Uh, to the uh to the city here how much damage is that i think that's 95 percent it's not particularly useful wall at this stage is it well right uh obviously this is the end of this campaign uh what I, I, I i'm gonna try i'm gonna have a little look see if uh i can do a little time lapse of how this might have gone um had it just been auto resolved that'd be an interesting one to do because obviously it is a bit of a modded version of the game so we're interested to see how how the uh how the cookie crumbled on that particular occasion but I will obviously leave it here. There will be a new series starting next week on the Monday, Wednesday slot. Um, I'll be going back to Barbarian Invasion. I, of course, have been having a lot of fun playing on Kingdoms here. And I've got the King Arthur campaign on Rome, so time to go back to Barbarian Invasion. I won't give away what the uh, the faction is for now, but um, I think I think a few of you will enjoy it anyway. So I'm looking forward to that greatly. But uh, it is obviously time to leave you with uh, where's our king? Where is our king? Good old King Hardenknud, he is the king who has brought peace to the world. He's open to murder, but he brings peace. And uh, after all, that is the lesson that maybe all of us should learn, I guess. But Bruce of the Scarred is the real hero this day. With his notorious berserker and sword bearer by his side, he, he is the one who inherited Excalibur after all these years in the other campaign of trying to collect it and never managing to get it. Here it is. Here is the mighty Excalibur of Bruce of the Scarred. It's time to leave you. I'm Thomas, this is Tenos the Human, and this has been our Kalmar Union campaign. Thank you, and good night. By Jave, it is a marvellous, marvellous day. Spiffin, one would say. Any one for pimps. He has seen the light. He's joined the anarchy. He is cruel and cunning. And you know what? He likes a little drink, and I think that's marvellous. La 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 la, chop your way through the peasants. One shot! No!